Hey guys, welcome to the weekend reading. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're gonna go through um, all the signs, all the way from Aries to Pisces. See what's going on for you guys this weekend. The timestamps will be down below. Uh, you guys can check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign to kind of get like a full picture. So let's kind of see where we go. I know this one's a little bit late, um, but it's here, <laughs> we're doing it. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's see what's going on. We'll start with Aries, okay? So again, timestamps will be down below. Let's see what is going on for you, Aries. Let's see. Um, here we are. Ooh, we have Bee Spirit, Prosperity. It's a new Oracle deck that I got. Um, all right, so good things, it looks like, Aries. What else is going on for Aries this weekend? What does Aries need to know this weekend? We have the Strength card, the Ace of Pentacles, yes, and the Queen of Wands. Some of you may have Leo in your chart. Uh, and we have the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I do feel for a lot of you, you're taking action and having the courage to step towards something new. For some of you, it could be with regards to work or something with regards to finances, something that you want to be prosperous in. Um, I also feel with the Knight of Pentacles, it's like you're taking calculated steps. So um, you're not rushing things because you want a certain outcome. It's like you're trying to achieve a certain outcome here. Um, but yeah, I feel like you guys with the Queen of Wands and the Strength card, you guys are definitely kind of like in your power here. Lots of fire energy. Um, let's see, I'll clarify this Strength card here. This is like a really nice energy for you guys. <clears throat> All right. We have the kind of two groups here. So we have the Queen of Swords, the Moon, and the Five of Pentacles. And then we have, yeah, the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. So, yeah, I kind of feel like there's a choice. We have the Lovers at the bottom here. So I feel like there's maybe a choice of like whether you're going to stay in a place of fear, a place of lack with the moon and the five of pentacles. Um, intuitively, I feel like you guys know you need to step towards something else and make plans for your future here. Three of wands. Um, make plans as to how you're going to achieve something here. I feel like that's kind of the, the courage is really just to step towards this new thing. What's this ace of pentacles for Aries? Page of wands. So being curious about things learning maybe communicating there could be something communicated to you knight of cups maybe one more here and the chariot some of you it could be love uh there could be a water sign that you're dealing with cancer but i kind of feel like it's something that's going to bring you like for a lot of you this is something that sparks inspiration it's going to allow you to move towards your dreams um i feel like you're going to be very you're very much going to pursue this is kind of what I'm getting with that Knight of Cups and the Chariot. It's like you're willing to overcome obstacles and challenges here. And I do feel like you are going to triumph here, especially with the King of Pentacles. Like, I feel like this is going to increase your finances here, bring be, um, allow you to be more stable. Some of you, it's like a new opportunity financially because you've been in this Five of Pentacles energy. Queen of Wands, we have the Two of Cups, the Five of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you are moving in a new direction that feels more in alignment with you. I feel like you could have been in a, in a Five of Swords situation where it's like very ego-driven, not the most, um, I want to say comforting, but it's like, it's not serving you. You're not getting any emotional fulfillment out of it. And if anything, there could be a lot of conflict or drama with regards to it. But it's like you're wanting to move towards something that feels more in alignment with the Two of Cups. Two of Swords, though, again, it's like you have to make this choice to step into this. But I feel like if you do step towards it, it as long as it feels right to you, it feels in alignment with you, um, whether it's love or um, like a financial situation, I do feel like if you take this step, you will, you will be prosperous here. Um, so I see really good things coming out of this Aries. I think it's just more of like harnessing your inner power and your inner strength in order to achieve what it is that you're looking for. So, it looks good. I like it. So that's what I have for you, Aries. 
we are going to move on. So let's move on to Taurus. What is going on for Taurus? We have water spirit manifesting dreams. Number 46 breaks down to a 10. I also feel like there's an element of play here. I have these, there's two otters and otters always, they, they're always so cute. They're like always playing in the water, <laughs> cuddling each other. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on for Taurus this weekend. What is going on for Taurus? Yeah, King of Cups. There's a lot of um, kind of like dreamy energy. Eight of Cups and the Tower. Some of you are pursuing a dream. We have the Five of Swords again at the bottom. Queen of Cups. Some of you are leaving a relationship. Um, one that wasn't doing overly well I feel what's this um I feel like you're pursu pursuing what it is that you really want yeah seven of cups it's like I feel like there was a, a a sense of like instability here and so you felt like you need to move away from something I also feel like you have a lot of dreams for some of you like you have a lot of dreams that you want to pursue what's this eight of cups here for Taurus the lovers and the wheel of fortune. So making the decision to move forward here. Ten of wands, put the burden down. It's going to create big changes in your life, but I don't actually feel like that's a bad thing here, Taurus. I feel like, yeah, things are kind of changing and being disruptive. Um, but that's not always a bad thing because sometimes, it, again, it manif you're manifesting your dreams. It brings in what it is that you're looking for. We have the King of Pentacles. So definitely disrupting your day-to-day, -day, your environment. But I feel like it's because you're moving towards your, your dream, your goal. Um, or it's just like this change is, is being brought on by this. Yeah, some of you are leaving a relationship. I got the Two of Cups. We have judgment at the bottom, making that judgment call. Some of you could be leaving uh, one person for somebody else as well. For some of you, like some of you may have a choice of who you're going to move towards. Maybe you had options. But regardless, I feel like you're moving towards something that you actually want. Yeah, Temperance, Ten of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. It's like you waited too long. You held on to something for too long here um, that needed to be with that tower. It needed to be let go of. So it's time for something new. It's time for this new dream that you're looking for. It's like you waited for things to like work out in your current situation and it's it hasn't. And so you're needing to kind of move forward. I see you guys like looking at your options this weekend. And possibly there might be a specific option that comes in or some sort of communication that comes in. Or maybe you're communicating to somebody else that you're moving on, something like that. Um, but it's like wherever you've been with this Ten of Swords, it's like you held on to that for too long with the Seven of Pentacles and Temperance. Those are two cards of like patience and waiting. Uh, with the Ten of Swords, I just feel like you were waiting for this to kind of end or you were waiting for this to improve and it just never did. But I do see you ch like making a choice to move in some direction here. It could just be brand new. It doesn't have to be a very specific one. But I do feel like you're, you are going to be moving forward, especially with, uh, like, there's a lot of things setting up in the universe here with temperance. We have the tower, the wheel of fortune. Those are all, like, divine intervention cards. So I feel like the universe is kind of, like, the time is now to do this. So that's what I have for you. Taurus. Hopefully that's helpful. We're going to move on to Gemini. Let's see what is going on for you this weekend, Gemini. All right. Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? I want this one. There we go. We have Purity, Unicorn. Number 45. All right, there's something really different. Um, 
maybe there's like a new sense of self or like you feel fresh, you feel free. Um, but there's also something really magical about unicorns, right? And if you can see, the unicorn is like sparkling. <laughs> so I kind of feel like there's something like majestic or pure in the sense that I feel like you've let something go or it's like your energy is more pure, like you've released something from your energetic field. Judgment, Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. Okay, so some of you are going to be releasing yourself. Um, I kind of feel like you're making, you're definitely making a judgment call of some sort, and there's definitely change with two fives here. Actually, three fives, because we're the high front at the bottom. There's three fives here. This That indicates changes, fives. And then we have a 45, so there's a five in that as well. I feel like there's an element of you kind of like being reborn, like judgment day is like, you know, old things or dead things coming back to life. <laughs> so it's like, this could be you, especially if you've been feeling like in a five of pentacles, five of cups energy. It's like, I feel like you're starting to, or this weekend, there's a need to kind of like cleanse your energy. Um, let's see, what's this judgment card here for Gemini? Yeah, lovers, definitely a choice. Ace of Pentacles, pure, brand new, fresh. Clarify Five of Pentacles here for Gemini. Knight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, making plans for the future, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups. Yeah, like making plans as to which direction you want to take something in or how you're going to get out of this Five of Pentacles. Definitely making a plan. The Five of Cups is clarified by the High Priestess and the Queen of um, Wands. There's definitely something um, magical here. <laughs> I don't know what that would be, but we have the King of Wands here. Some of you may have somebody who um, misses you or has regrets. If you're at a distance from someone, someone you've maybe chosen to walk away from, I feel like this person has regrets. But I also feel like there's a, a strong spiritual element to you guys this, this weekend. Um, maybe just really tapping in. I just feel like you're going to be feeling really good. It's like you've got your confidence going on here with the unicorn. Like it feels really good. It feels fresh. It feels new. Um, it's like you got your mojo back kind of thing. Like you feel good about yourself. And I feel like it's because you've walked away from something that caused you a lot of grief here. I feel like you definitely moved on. I feel like you left a situation here. And I feel like this person probably has regrets. The King of Wands person. The, um, especially if you decided now. This could be just be a situation you walked away from. But regardless, it's like you're moving on to better things. You're moving on to find your Nine of Cups. Um, there's progression here in, how, in your emotion and how you're feeling with the Seven and the Eight of Cups. And I feel like you're really trusting your intuition with the High Priestess here and the Queen of Wands. Whatever choice you're making this weekend, Gemini, or whatever like intuitive decision you're making, I feel like you're on the right track for sure. Because I, I think you'll know that it, you're on the right track because it'll feel really good. It'll feel liberating. So there's big changes I feel coming in and I, I feel like you're going to gain some power and some control back or feel that way at least and also gain some of your happiness back because you're going to start to make progress towards the future that you really want. So looks good. I like it, Gemini. I like it. I like it. All right. We are going to move on to Cancer. Let's see what's going on for you, Cancer. What does Cancer need to know for the weekend, please, Spirit? We have healing, number four, bear spirit. This bear looks so happy. <laughs> He's so cute. This is like, I haven't used these cards, so um, all these cards are new to me. All right, I feel like you're protected as well with this bear spirit, Cancer. So you're healing from something or maybe just doing some healing work this weekend. We have the Ace of Cups. The High Priestess, 
and the hanged man. Yeah, definitely something um, spiritual. Uh, enlightenment. We have the Five of Cups. So some of you are healing from this Five of Cups energy. I see you kind of spending a lot of time alone, just kind of hanging out. But I do feel like you have something on your on your mind, or maybe you're just doing a lot of self care. Um, it's like you're trying to change your situation. You're trying to shift something or surrender to the divine a little bit, like help, like allowing the divine to help you through something as well. It's interesting because we have one, two, and then we have 12. But I feel like there's a need for you to kind of like surrender to something here. What's this? Um, clarify the Ace of Cups here for Cancer. But I feel like there's a lot of like self-love, focusing on self. So the Page of Pentacles is clarifying the Ace of Cups. Some of you are like learning how to do this or you're learning something new that you are, you know, excited or passionate about. Yeah, the High Priestess is clarified by the Hermit. You guys are spending some time alone doing your own thing this weekend, I feel. Hanged Man with the Two of Wands. So you're trying to change an outcome here. You're trying to change something for your future. Again, a lot of you are healing. We have the Magician here, the Lovers, gaining your power back, the Empress, yes, and Strength. Heck yeah. Um... You guys are definitely stepping in. You're, you're choosing to level up, improve your situation, improve your life, focused on like a new you. You know what I mean? Like I feel like you're really um, focused on healing an aspect of yourself. And this could, doesn't even have to be anything like super crazy or deep. This could just be like you're ready to make a change in your life and making that change from a place of self-love, right? You know, wanting to eat better just because you actually want to fuel your body properly or... Um, maybe just taking a weekend to relax so that you can actually recharge and you know kind of heal and just kind of feel more like yourself getting back in line with spirit feeling more in control of your life and me feeling more connected as well but i do feel like you're definitely you're definitely manifesting if you're if you're looking at manifesting something new or even a message of love i feel like that's coming i feel like you're manifesting it um, during this time period and it's like while you're going through this healing um, because I do feel like not right now but in the future something is going to change here with the hanged man and the two of wands and with that magician the lovers and the empress with the strength it's like once you step into your power there's going to be an opportunity that comes knocking for you that's with the four of cups here and the nine of cups that's going to make you really happy so keep doing what you're doing cancer because it looks really good um some of you could be like really bundled up this weekend or you're going to be very cozy this weekend as well as what i'm getting with that like winter type energy but it's almost like with the winter it's like you're you're hibernating you're preparing for spring right you're preparing for that like blossom so that's what i have for you cancer we're going to move on to leo so let's see what is going on for you, Leo, Leo, Leo. What is going on for Leo this weekend? My fellow Leos, what is happening? We have uh, Wood Nymph Beauty, number 52, which breaks down to a seven. All right. Let's see. I feel like people are, some of you are like enjoying time with people or friends, family this weekend. Others of you are like standing out from the crowd. Like you're, you're, I don't know, for some reason you're, you're standing out here. What's going on for Leo this weekend, please spirit. Wow. Okay. Those two flipped over. So we will take those. So we have, um, justice. And we have the Three of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. This dang Five of Cups keeps coming out. Eight of Pentacles here at the bottom. So you're working on something. You're trying to get some recognition, some reward. Some of you are trying to achieve something as well, like a contract. Um, I feel like this, I don't know if this Five of Cups is like you're not seeing the whole picture or some of you aren't seeing the achievements that you've acquired thus far or you're more focused on what you've lost but rather than what you've gained 
Um, so it's just like a shift of mindset a little bit for some of you. You're definitely working on trying to get some sort of recognition though. What's this justice card here? Um, Queen of Pentacles. So you're in control of this here, Leo, Three of Wands. Whatever your whatever balance or whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, I feel like it's coming in with the Three of Wands. What's this Three of Pentacles for Leo? King of Swords, Three of Swords. Okay, so you could be dealing with someone, um, could be dealing with an air sign. They could be a little bit detached from you. I feel like there's something that else that they're focused on. There could be a third party, but I don't feel like it's a person. I feel like it's, um, I don't feel like they're emotionally available. Um, some of you, they were hurt in a relationship by somebody else. Others of you, this person is focused on work. They're, they've got some sort of wall up with this nine of wands, whoever this person is. Clarify this five of cups here for Leo. We have the devil and we have the tower with the world. You might walk away from this person. If you walk away from this person, this person's going to have regrets because they they feel very attached to you, but there's some sort of like bond here that's being broken by the tower, the devil and the tower here. I feel like those chains that keep you restricted are being broken. You're being like set free. Completing a cycle here. Give me one more for this justice with the Queen of Wands for Leo. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you are going to be moving forward um, with the Seven of Wands here. It's like fighting for what you want, fighting for justice in a situation. If this person can't give you what it is that you're looking for, I feel like um, you're maybe going to move on. Yeah, it's interesting because the King and Queen of Pentacles came out. This, this is somebody who I feel like you could work with well, or you have the ability to be in a relationship, but for some reason... For some reason, it's not. We have the King and the Queen of Wands. We have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. But this person's acting like a King of Swords. So they're very detached from this situation. And I think they might actually miss out on, on an opportunity here with you. Page of Wands. Ace of Wands. They may communicate. But it's like, I don't think they're very clear with the Seven of Cups. Or it comes across as very immature or very flirty, even. Very passionate. And it's like, you don't know if this person is serious or... Um, you might feel like they're playing mind games for some of you. This person definitely sees your beauty, though. You're looking very attractive to this person. But they are being... I don't know if they're trying to get over a heartbreak. Again, like, they could be trying to get over a past situation, which is why it's showing, like, a third party, because that's still in their energy. But it's... I feel like that's over. Ten of Swords. But they're still grieving it. Two of Swords, Three of Swords, Ten of Swords. It's like this person mentally is not clear here and they're kind of blocking out things because they're still trying to overcome this heartache that they've been through they may be trying to release themselves from this i feel like you're just going to kind of be taking things slow and if anything i don't know if you're necessarily taking a lot of action there could definitely could be communication between the two of you but i just don't think this if you're looking for a relationship i don't think this person's ready yet not that they won't ever, I just don't know if they're going to be able to give you what you're looking for with that Three of Pentacles. So, that's what I have for you, Leo. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, let's move on to Virgo. Let's see what's going on for Virgo this weekend. What does Virgo need to know for the weekend? What does Virgo need to know? We have Stag Spirit Leadership, number 39, which breaks down to a three. And then we, let's see what's going on. I feel like there's a, you have some sort of power here, Virgo, or you're feeling very in control of a situation. We have the Two of Cups. 
six of pentacles, four of pentacles, with again, the six of swords at the bottom. Um, I feel like some of you feel like you have a lot to offer. You're trying to achieve something here, I feel, Virgo, but um, some of you could be even be trying to save money or work on your finances or something like that or, or receive some sort of like stability within your financial world or just your, your practical world. There is something about a relationship, so maybe you're at a distance from someone. Let's see. What's this Two of Cups for Virgo? What is this Two of Cups for Virgo? What is the Two of Cups? We have the King of Swords. Eight of Wands and the Moon is clarifying the Six of Pentacles. What's this Four of Pentacles for Virgo? Ten of Cups. Okay, so for some of you, there's... Someone, I feel, it needs to be the bigger person. I feel like something's stagnant right now or it's not moving in a direction because... I feel like a per someone's holding back or if it's not even in a, I feel like for a lot of you, it's in a relationship of some sort, whatever that means. It doesn't even have to be like romantic, but there's some situation here where you're dealing with someone who it's like, you almost have to be the bigger person. We have the, the King of Swords and the Page of Swords here. And then they have the, the Hierophant here behind that. But it's like, someone has to be the bigger person, be the leader and speak up. I feel like someone's holding back with the moon here. And that's preventing things from being in a place of happiness, joy, wish fulfillment, and like working out. I feel like someone has, it's like things need to be a little bit more balanced here with this six of pentacles. What's the moon here for? The hanged man, temperance, death, and the queen of wands. With the page of cups. I feel like um, if someone waits too long, I feel like things could end up ending. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Sag, we have Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, but someone needs to express themselves. Especially with this King of Swords, like someone could be a little bit cold and detached here. So someone may need to express themselves. They're holding back how they really feel. Four of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. So I don't know if this is you or if this is somebody you're dealing with here, Virgo. But someone's holding back. Like not taking any action. And that could be what causes this to end. I feel like someone just needs to be the bigger person and like say something. The Sun, the Four of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. It's almost like you have to, if someone doesn't, yeah, if someone doesn't speak up here, I feel like they're gonna have regrets with this Five of Cups. They're gonna have regrets that they didn't say something because time is gonna pass. So this might be you even if this person's not saying anything, maybe you have to be the bigger person and say something or vice versa. But it's like whoever, it, it could be both of you, maybe you're not saying anything and it's like somebody has to say something because I feel like there is happiness, there's wish fulfillment here, there's joy, there is a connection here. But for some reason, someone's holding back emotionally. Could be out of fear for some of you. Um, some of them just don't feel good enough, like they don't feel worthy enough or someone doesn't. Leo and Sag is really strong here. So I don't know who this is, but it's like someone with this leadership card, like someone has to be the bigger person here, Leo or um, Virgo, with regards to this. So if you're holding back, express how you feel. And if this person's holding back, then maybe you need to ask them, like maybe just like kind of put them on the spot, but in a nice way. <laughs> 
Uh, so that's what I have for you, Virgo. We're going to move on to Libra. What's going on for Libra this weekend, Spirit? What is going on for Libra? Libra. We have Elves, Playfulness, number six. Reminds me of the Six of Cups. Okay, so you could be having some fun this weekend. You could even be flirting with someone, I want to say, Libra. Um, but some of you are just really going to enjoy your weekend. Maybe have some fun or maybe you're doing things that, you know, you enjoy. <laughs> okay, we have the devil. <laughs> we have judgment. And we have the page of cups here. Th that's that element of play. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. Some of you are like indulging in something this weekend with that Devil and the Page of Cups. Like you could be, I don't know, maybe you're going out or something. You're indulging in a situation or a person maybe even for some of you. Um, but there is some sort of choice that you have surrounding this. What is this about? Clarify this judgment here for Libra. Some of you are just doing something from the past, like um, Page of Cups, Three of Wands, or Three, sorry, Page of, I don't even know why I said those cards, those aren't even what they are at all. Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, <laughs> um, with the Seven of Pentacles. So some of you may have a decision when it comes to your career, but I kind of see this weekend you indulging in something. What's this devil energy? Some of you are learning something new. We have the Page of Wands. Give me one more here with this. A lot of page energy, like young energy. Justice. What's this uh, Page of Cups here? So some of you are like, there's a lot of passion here with someone. This could be somebody who you're in a relationship with for some of you. Others of you, this is somebody who you have like um, a history with or some sort of a past with but I feel like there could be some flirty communication maybe you're going out and actually doing things I do see you enjoying your time here with the four of wands like um so you could just be having fun this weekend with someone I don't really feel like it's a bad thing like I don't feel like it's in a bad way we have the fool and the six of wands so some of you are starting something new maybe you're celebrating something for some of you as well if you've started something new or you've made that choice to step into something new when it comes to like your work or something that you could be celebrating that. Um, give me one more with this devil energy here. Queen of Pentacles, Hermit and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this might be like someone might send you a message here. It could be an earth sign or a Libra. Someone you definitely have a history with or a past with. But I do feel like there's communication with that Ace of Swords. If they ask you to do something, I feel like you're going to say yes. So I don't know who this person is or, wh or who this is, but they could just literally be an Earth sign because there's heavy Earth here, uh, Libra. But I also feel like you're, what is this new thing for Libra? What is this new thing here? The Hanged Man. So some of you haven't started it yet. You've maybe just like taken the position or you're looking into it for some of you with the Page of Swords here. I feel like you're gonna, you, you're you very intrigued by this new thing. Maybe this could even just be a person that you're wanting to get to know. Or maybe you're gonna try and work on things with someone here. But regardless, I see you having fun, Libra. You're having fun, so that's all that matters. <laughs> um, but definitely could it be like some flirty energy between you and another person for sure. So that's what I have for you. We're gonna move on to Scorpio. Let's see what is going on for you, Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know for the weekend? Uh, 
We have Hummingbird Spirit Joy, number 22. So that's a master number. We have the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. And the Ace of Swords. Some of you are, um, oops, there's a person in your energy. You could be working on something with someone this weekend. I feel like you're happy. Like, I don't feel like there's any negative things going on. You could be working on communication. Others of you, though, are starting a new project or something maybe with this person. Um, like, I see you, like, working on something with that Eight of Pentacles here. Let's see. What is this uh, King of Wands here for Scorpio? What is this King of Wands here for the Scorpio? Three of Pentacles. What's this uh, Queen of Wands for Scorpio? The Fool, the Moon, and the Hierophant. Interesting. Uh, what is this Eight of Pentacles here for Scorpio? Six of Swords. Two of Cups. Some of you are entering a relationship with someone. They could be at a distance from some, for some of you. Like you may live at a distance or maybe they live in a different city or something like that. One of you is in your head about things with the moon card, like, or like, you know, maybe holding back a little bit. There is, I feel, excitement to progress into a relationship. It's like this person, whoever this King of Wands is, really wants this to work out. They're hoping they get, if they're putting in any effort towards you, I feel like this person is hoping that they get the reward kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like this person's like hoping that things go well. I feel like the other person with this Queen of Wands, I feel like they're definitely wanting to move towards this, but I also feel like there's maybe some fears or... Maybe they're hiding that they want a relationship, like they could be kind of holding back. I feel like there's there's definitely a connection here with the Two of Cups between the two of you. Um, give me one more here with this Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Swords for Scorpio. Nine of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Hmm. Eight of Cups at the bottom. There definitely could be travel or, or distance. I feel like somebody's hiding how they feel. It's like they're trying to, with the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like somebody's maybe trying to do things by the book, like do things the right way so that they ensure a certain result. I don't feel like it's manipulative, but I feel like they are trying to get what they want. It's not in like a, in a bad way. I feel like it's just that this person's trying to ensure, I feel like it's this King of Wands. Whether that's you or this person you're dealing with, they're, they're trying to ensure success. They're trying to ensure that they get what it, that recognition for the work and the effort that they're putting in. They want to look good, whoever this person is. So I feel like there's somebody here. The other person wants it too. So like I actually feel like if I just feel like maybe this one person's unsure of how the other person feels and so they're trying to put as much effort as they can in order to get the result that they're looking for because they don't know where this other person stands but i feel like that person also wants a relationship like i feel like you're you're both on the same page here because i actually feel like you both enjoy your time with each other it's just that there's like again communication i feel could be a little bit like you're still learning how to communicate with each other so there's still like a, like someone's holding back a little bit here but I do feel like it's going to move forward for a lot of you. Some of you, it definitely will lead to a commitment. Like you'll be in a relationship with this person. So that is what I have for you, Scorpio. We're going to move on to Sagittarius. Let's see what's happening for you, Sag. All right. What does Sagittarius need to know for the weekend? What does Sagittarius need to know? Ooh, 
Ooh, we have Guardians of the Land Protection, number 21. Breaks down to a three. All right. What's going on for Saj here? We have the Emperor, the World, and the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. Seven of Swords. Yeah, if anyone's trying to, like, pull one by you, I feel like that's not going to happen. I feel like you have a lot. You're very successful here, Saj, I feel, with the Emperor, the World, and the, the Ten of Pentacles. This, to me, would indicate, like, somebody who has their own business, somebody who's very wealthy, very successful. Um, I feel like you're protected from people who are trying to sabotage what it is that you have, whether you are any of those things or just whatever it is that you have, especially if you've completed something or you've, you've had some sort of success in your life. You're definitely protected from that. So I wouldn't be worried about other people. Um, let's see what's going on. Some of you are completing up a project and it's going to be very successful here. What's this emperor? Like you're very much in control as well. Go for this Emperor for Sag. The Lovers and the Devil. Interesting combo. What's this world card here? The Moon. What's this Ten of Pentacles? The Hanged Man, the High Priestess, and the Page of Pentacles. And then we have the Ace of Cups. So some of you are definitely in control of a situation. I feel like there's something new coming in that you, it's a secret. You don't see this, like something could be finishing up and it's like, you don't see what's coming in. Some of you, it's like a new opportunity. What's this? Um, some of you, it's like new love or something as well. I kind of feel like for some of you, though, it's like you, you're trying to control too much. What's this world and the moon here? Oh, that one flipped. What's the world and the moon here for Sag? Knight of Pentacles. It's like making plans for the future, the sun, the two of Pentacles, justice, and the ten of swords. You may be trying to hold on to something too, a little bit too tightly. I feel like if you're holding on to something, there's actually something better out there. You just don't see that yet. Or you're not sure, you, do, you may. some of you may feel like you don't have all the answers in order to move towards something new or have that. I feel like the new opportunity is actually going to be very beneficial for you. I feel like it poses a lot of potential. Some of you, this definitely is in your career. If this is in love, I feel like, um, or the Ace of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you are holding back on something that you, I feel like you want. It definitely piques your interest and your inspiration. If this is um, love, I feel like maybe you don't have all the answers or you don't see, you don't see what's coming in towards you. Some of you could have been ending a relationship that was a bit karmic and now you're wanting to move forward, but there could be some fear or again, you just don't see what's coming towards you. And so there's like, it's hidden from you. It's not illuminated yet. It's, it's partially illuminated, but not fully. Again, I feel like you're protected in this, so it's like it doesn't really, the fear that you have towards whatever this opportunity is, I feel like is not, whatever you have and whoever you are is protected. We have the four, or sorry, the nine of swords in reverse, and we have the wheel of fortune in reverse. Yeah, you gotta like let go of the fears that things aren't gonna work out for you, because I feel like you're divinely protected here. Let go of the fear that what you have you're going to lose or 
You know what I mean? It's like you're maybe getting in your own way here with this Seven of Swords by trying to control too much. It's like you have to remember that the universe is here to help you as well and assist you. It's like listen to your inner guidance. Listen to your intuition. Especially if there's a new opportunity that you're considering. Sag. Because I actually feel with this protection, it, it breaking down to a three, it has the potential to grow if you allow it. And you're pr it's protecting your growth. Right? To ensure the success. So looks good Sag you just have to trust yourself and maybe let go a little bit of control if you feel like you're trying to kind of like micromanage everything a lot of times we'll do that when we're in fear right of not the unknown and not knowing what's going on um so I feel like you'll probably work through that but so that's what I have for you Sag we're gonna move on to Capricorn so let's see what is going on for Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn. We have transmutation, the Phoenix, number 29. That breaks down to an 11. So we have the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Death card. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. So I kind of feel like um, like the Phoenix is like the Phoenix rising. It's literally like death card kind of, right? It has that same type of energy. I feel like there's a change in a pattern here when it comes to relationships, Capricorn. Um, it's like you're letting go of some sort of old pattern. Some of you could just be recognizing this pattern and letting it go. Some of you could be, um, there could be a situation here where it's like you got hurt again by it and it's like no more, moving on, right? Three of Swords, Eight of Cups. Um, definitely an end, I feel, but it's like you're going to come out on top with that Phoenix um, transmute. Is you're going to be able to transmute this pain here. So the Nine of Wands, yeah, is clarified by the Ten of Swords. So definitely that pattern is coming to an end. You've lived it long enough. Ten of Cups is clarified by the Seven of Wands. What's the death card here for it for Capricorn? You could be dealing with a Scorpio, or you have Scorpio in your chart. Yeah, definitely Scorpio. Scorpio is really heavy. Um, judgment with the Magician. You're stepping into your power. I feel like a lot of you have also set really good boundaries for yourself. Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands. It's like you're only going to accept the best, what it is that you're looking for. Um, so there could be a shift here in your life where you're no longer repeating the same patterns and expecting different results it's like you're letting that go you're making that decision having that judgment call you're kind of at a, at a crossroads i feel a little bit in your life where it's like this can no longer continue to happen the way that it is happening we have two tens judgment is 20 so that would be two tens as well death and rebirth technically twice we have the magician here so it's like you're stepping into your power i feel like you're recognizing what you deserve fighting for what it is that you want and not settling for anything less not settling for things that are disappointing things that are going to hurt you you know it's like you see the pattern you you've recognized it and now it's time to move forward yeah two of pentacles four of wands it's like five of pentacles you're walking away from things that aren't bringing you this four of, of wands, this happiness, this relationship, this success, this union. Like you're looking for a soulmate and I feel like you're looking for someone who's going to reciprocate, someone where it's going to be balanced and it's actually going to be enjoyable to be with this person. Um, and it's not going to end up in loss and sadness and regret. So I feel like there's a big shift here. big shift I think you're starting to like really recognize something and saying like oh that that can't go on right like that has to change that specific thing that specific relationship like this can no longer happen the way that it's happening it doesn't mean that you fully move on from that person or that situation it just means like now there needs to be communication or there needs to be some sort of change so that you can change that situation and, and come out on top you know be the phoenix rising so that is what I have for you Capricorn we are going to move on to Aquarius. 
So let's see. What does Aquarius need to know for the weekend? What does Aquarius need to know? We have Secret Spring Success, number 34. I feel like there's something um, that you're maybe keeping <laughs> to yourself that could be very successful for you or you've found some sort of success or like a hidden gem. Um, I feel like it's meant for you. So we have the Hanged Man, we have the Knight of Cups and we have the Devil and then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, there's like an opportunity or something that you're sitting on here. I feel like you will start to kind of like move forward in it or towards it. Two of Swords, King of Pentacles. You've been thinking about this a lot or like really kind of pondering it. Like maybe not making a decision, evaluating it a little bit. What's this Knight of Cups? The star. Something's definitely a wish fulfillment. Like, you see a lot of potential in something, but you're keeping it, I, I feel, to yourself. What's this devil energy? The Magician. And the Ten of Swords. So some of you maybe are still, like, there's something still burdening you and it's holding you back from creating what it is that you're wanting to create with the Magician here. And the devil, it's like there could be a block here in what it is that you're trying to manifest. Um, give me one more with this devil here and the magician. It's like something's still kind of stagnant or stuck. Yeah, death card, king of swords, eight of pentacles, something maybe you're still working on. There could be another person here that you've been trying to work with, but it's like, I don't feel like it's really working out or it's still, it's blocking you somehow. Maybe you're still working on a project or something. You're still trying to w w get something else to work. But I feel like there's a, there's a hold up here in this success that you're trying to achieve. What's this hold up here? Why is there a block for Aquarius? With three of cups. Could be the people around you. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're like slowing you down. People, friends, co-workers, whatever that is for you. There's people around you that are slowing you down from going after. So I don't know if people are distracting you, but people are, are holding you up. Keeping you stuck, maybe saying things to you that kind of keep you stuck. Because I feel like you have a goal and you have a dream that is specific to you. You have something that it's like you're trying to achieve maybe a purpose, a passion. I feel like you're going to be really successful in it, Six of Wands. But it's like you're keeping it a secret or you're hiding a talent that you have because of other people somehow. So take that as it resonates. Kind of an interesting message. Can I get uh, one more here for Aquarius? Queen of Wands, Eight of Wands. Yeah, you got to harness that inner power and move forward here. Don't let, don't let people, places, and things hold you back from... Um, what it is that you want ace of swords ace of wands because i see you having victory and success here if you allow yourself but don't let people block your success i don't know what this is but it's like something needs to to be put to rest here so that you can move towards what it is that you're wanting to there's some sort of block and i feel like it has to do with people it's like distracting you or they're actually maybe telling you like for some of you, it's distracting. Like if you have friends, maybe they're partying a lot or something. It's distracting you. It's keeping you stuck. But I feel like whatever it is, Aquarius, you can definitely have a lot of success with it. But you got to take action towards it, which I feel like you are with the Knight of Cups and the Star. Um, but you definitely just have to follow your dreams. And, f you know, if you feel like there's something's going to be successful for you and it's going to work, then you, you just got to go for it. So... That is what I have for you, Aquarius. We're going to move on to uh, Pisces. So let's see what's going on for you this weekend, Pisces. What is happening for Pisces? 
We have Wizard of the Woods, Focus, number 50, which would break down to a five. What's going on for Pisces this weekend? Two of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Six of Cups. And then we have the Lovers. So you could have a choice. There could be an opportunity coming in towards you. I feel like there's a need. You could be kind of distracted. I was getting this with Aquarius, but... It's like people, family, friends that are distracting you. I also feel like you could be kind of hung up on something from the past but you have an opportunity in front of you here. What's this Two of Pentacles for Pisces? What is this Two of Pentacles here? Knight of Cups. The Five of Cups is clarifying the Four of Cups. Definitely not happy with where you're at. The Six of Cups is clarified by the Lovers and the Six of Wands. Some of you, it's like a soulmate or some sort of like love situation. I feel like you're on the right track, but I also feel like you maybe need to move on from something. I feel like you have, with this Wizards of Wizard of the Woods, you have the answers within you. You just have to make the choice. Give me one with this Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. What's the best decision for you? Putting any burdens down that you have? Making a decision to follow your heart instead of what's challenging for you and what's like a lot of en energy and effort. If some of you are doing too much. You got too much going on. Give me one more with this four of cups, five of cups for Pisces. Ten of pentacles, a tower. Wheel of fortune. Yeah, something's changing in, with regards to a relationship or just your romantic life. I feel like it's shifting in a positive direction like luck is on your side with the nine of wands king of wands five of pentacles seven of swords somebody's playing mind games somebody that you have a history with that keeps coming back but they're not they're, i feel like this is there's somebody here you're not speaking to I feel like you could be trying to move on from someone maybe that you're not speaking to. It could be from this person, like this person that you're trying to move on from. Because some of you have become single with this Nine of Pentacles. But there's a need for you to focus on like yourself, I feel. Uh, what's this lovers here for? Yeah, the world and the Page of Cups. So I feel like there's an ending and a new beginning. Like I feel like a lot of you are ending a relationship but getting attention from other people or maybe there's somebody... Um, that you're talking to or communicating with. Also, though, the person who you left, I feel like could be coming back to try and talk to you or apologize to you. They may see that you're getting a lot of attention from other people. It's like they're trying to repeat a pattern here. They're trying to repeat a cycle with you. I don't know if you're really into that. You may feel like this is a bit of a burden here. There's a need for you to focus and like not get distracted by this person, I think, and what it is that they tell you. Because I think sometimes they try to, like, control you. Not control, but, like, well, maybe control if that's what I said. But they try to confuse you emotionally. And then it's like they play mind games. They play games with your heart with the way that they speak. So it's like don't get distracted by, you know, their charm is kind of what I'm getting. And I feel like some of you are really, like, you're waiting around for this person or something. Even if you try to move on, it's like there's a part of you that still kind of like, you know, thinks about them a lot, especially with the Six of Cups. Especially if it's fresh, like this could be something relatively fresh. But I feel like this person, especially with the wizard energy, it's like they're trying to like pull one over on you kind of is almost what I'm getting. Like they're trying to control and manipulate this situation or manipulate you into thinking one way, but they're actually not as serious as they make it out to be. Definitely like mind games with this person. So just be cautious of that. I do feel though a lot of you are going to be moving on. There could be something specific. There could be a different person in your energy. You may have two people, like a past and then a, a new person that you're talking to, but you're trying to still get over the past person, I feel, because I feel like it could be kind of relatively fresh for some of you. 
Um, that is what I have for you guys, though. Hopefully you enjoyed those readings. Tomorrow um, we're going to have a love pick a card uh, coming out. And then on Sunday, the September, September readings are going to be out. So keep an eye out for all of those. Uh, thank you for your patience today as I kind of figure my life out. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all in the next one. Okay, bye.